Hello folks, and I'm sure you weren't expecting this, neither was I. <clears throat> I decided that I need to be more battle oriented, and so here we are. I bought a, a vulture, I oh, called it a viper again, what the hell. Mounted with multi cannon pulse cannon or yeah pulse cannon or laser whatever kill warrant scanners two shield boosters and point defense and this thing is a major major power problem <clears throat> which we'll probably be working on in the next episode. Although it did occur to me that I have completely shut down on making Civilization 5 videos, so I probably will have to do that next. Hopefully. <clears throat> um. Optional internal kind of runs into a problem. In order to keep um, good shields and reinforcement, it ends up being kind of crappy fuel scoops. Sh shift drive is just beyond. Well, actually, I haven't had to try that one out yet, but. And I always like to fly with one of these. It seemed to work out okay until I came to doing core internal and so all I can really handle is minimal things which is okay because it comes down to weight distribution and getting to jump at least the maximum this thing can it's not very good if you want to commute. So I might be buying something with a longer jump range and then buying passage for this thing. Um, 
just so it'll be quicker. Uh, it did save me a lot of money. A lot of money. <clears throat> However, I seem to have taken a back step through some of the endeavors that I took with this thing. Um, like, my credit balance. <clears throat> That's only two million more than actually it's not even two million it's like one point something more than what I started with during the Sothis run and I made nine million credits from that one run so I think I might be trying to do that again um, with maybe an asp due to my credit balance Um, anyway, I'm here. Todd the Blaster McQuinn. And I want to upgrade my multi cannon. I had the bounties. I had over a million dollars in bounties. Actually, I've still got quite a few. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good with this ship. Um, it's it's battle worthy. It's really nice. <clears throat> um, so let's just kick it in kick it into gear, I guess. Um, hmm. Hmm. Charged. Rapid fire. Huh. Oh, that might give it jitter. Short range blaster. Ooh. That's not good. <clears throat> Integrity, thermal, load. Hmm. I've heard that this is a very, very good way to go, but I don't know. I think that this efficient weapon one might be the way to go. <clears throat> As you can tell, I've been kind of... saving up quite a bit of stuff. Let's let's just um let's preview an outcome here. Cost and generate. Why not? Experimental effect. Be changed within the ranges shown. Well, let's do it. We'll call.
cost me one nickel. is self-destruct before damaging ships that are not currently targeted. Friend or foe targeting upgrades that causes rounds to self-destruct before damaging ships that are not currently targeted. <clears throat> that would save me from getting a bounty because I accidentally hit something. like a fucking fighter. I want the one that... Ammo system in different superheat rounds increasing the damage. Uh, thermal shock. Focus ray. Spread heat effectively. Strikes to shields and haul impart additional heat to the target. Ooh, like that. It's a difference. Huh. Hmm. I think these ones are the ones I want. But, I gotta get favors. Huh. Let's uh, that's a lot of distributor draw, really. It's not as bad as it could have been, I guess. The jitter is not so bad, I guess. Of course, I don't know exactly what that does. Other than decrease accuracy. I did notice that it decreases the thermal load, which is like... Well, if I add something different, like one of those experimental things, let's just try it one more, one more time, one more time, try again. <clears throat> Cross your fingers, everybody. Uh, and that's good. And that's good. Uh, that ended up the same. That's a little better. That's not as good. I think that's the same thing. Ah, decreases its mass. <clears throat> see here. Um, yes, I still want to... Yeah, of course. Let's go up here and try out this one. <clears throat> 
because I've got lots of sulfur. Preview outcome. Um, likely to decrease thermal load and increase damage regardless. So let's do that. You know, that's not much, but decreases thermal load again. Oh. So let's see if we get an experimental thing out of this. Come on, spin. Stop spinning. Damn it. You know, I don't like the minimal increase here, so I think we're just going to back out of that one. <clears throat> Grade 2 access. Hmm. Efficient weapon. What is this? Oh, heat dispersion plate. High capacity. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, I only have one, though. Frick. Should we try it and see if we get lucky? That's not bad, so that brought that back down a little bit. Ooh. That's not good. That might have thrown my ship over the edge. like to do it because of the... Uh, well, no. No, 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 not because of that. This is all crap. I'm... <clears throat> Poop. Let's try this one. Could make me kind of a sniper. 
Well, then again, I gotta get really close for my beam weapon anyway. Let's try overcharged weapon a couple more times. Generate. Huh. of shell. You know, I think that might actually work. Because I have my beam, well, no, it's not a beam laser. Pulse laser. To take the shields down. And then <clears throat> I use this to take the hull out. And so I've got it set so that, can I look at it while I'm Yes, I can. I've got my fire group set so that my attack fire group is one side is pulse laser and the other side is multi cannon. So, that works out great. Actually, the problem is the ammo, so, well, that's not so bad. This is the bad part right here but I got corrosive shell out of it so that makes sense hmm of course if I made it thermal shock instead what does that cost does it cost hmm back adjust you have one favor available choosing one of these options will reduce your rank with this engineer deductions occur when you apply the modification I'm just going to stick with the corrosive shell for now. We're going to apply that. That'll work. Yes. Adding a special effect. Funny, funny, funny. Well, we haven't exceeded our power out, or power output so we're good likey 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 now I wish I could buy another one <laughs> but I don't think I can I think he has the 
things I want. Yeah, he doesn't. He's got cannons, though. I wonder... Three C cannons. I can fit them, too. <laughs> Ooh. Should I do it? Um, you know, it wouldn't hurt. We're just going to store this one. I don't know why we have to watch this animation. Whatever. What does that look like? Badass. Cool. Let's check this out. <clears throat> I believe that he can upgrade that too. Yep. Well, that's better. Yes! Yes! What does that mean? That created kind of successful strikes to temporarily confuse all gimbal and turret hard points on the target. Uh -huh. At the cost of direct damage potential. I couldn't beg to differ with that. Why not? Huh. Just out of curiosity. Because this is an upgraded weapon already, is it going to add more? Say I went with, you know, overcharged weapon. It's got a possibility to make it better again. Oh, it's got a, a chance to sway it a little bit. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I will probably stick to what I have. <clears throat> Mostly because Oh, I should have went with wet ammo clip size on the cannon. Nevertheless, if I don't like it, I can always switch back over to the pulse. It's in system here. <laughs> It's 
go test this stuff out, shall we? Kind of get into some nav beacon bounty battles. See how it goes. please We are here. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm not on video while I do this, cause, yeah. It's likely to be very Very embarrass embarrassing if I'm trying to make this look cool. Oh, of course you're a bandit. bounties with the Alliance from back when I was Federation
Okay. Yeah, buddy. Going silent isn't gonna help you any. So much problems trying to target this fucker. Oh, I lost him. Strong button. If I like the cannon, <clears throat> doesn't fire fast enough. Well, I could use that. Well, this is unexciting. Scan detected. A wing of three, huh?
That cannon takes their shields down like instantly. I might like the cannon a little bit better now. Too bad. This is good enough against this guy. Those other guys. Get addled pretty quick, huh? <laughs> Did I hit him? Did not mean to. Figures.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> okay, there's nobody here anymore. Let's go turn in some of this stuff. It's not much, but it's something. There's another guy! Oh yeah, I'm getting in on this one. He's probably going to die before I get this out, but... Oh! Got it. Picked a bad spot, man. He's dead. I didn't even get a bounty for that. You're kidding me. Okay. What all we got out of that? I might possibly look at another ship too, so...
Hmm. Well, at least the Viper MK4 jumps further. By my opinion, it's a better bounty hunting ship than this one is. I don't know. But I think I'll make that decision off camera. So, I will to see you in the next one. Bye bye. If you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you like my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you care to support me, don't forget to hit this link in my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.